Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have explained about two MDM methods, AHP and TOPSIS. Now, in this video, I am going to explain about the uh, another MDM method, that is Mura MDM method. So, let's start. So contents are uh, introduction, introduction to MEDM, then introduction to Mura method, then steps in Mura, then Mura calculations, results and conclusion. So introduction to the MEDM method. So as we know, this uh, decision making methods uh, is not only in industry, used not only in industry but also in our day to day life. And uh, the main multi criteria decision making method have divided into two parts like uh, multi criteria decision making methods and multi objective decision making methods. So, uh, next introduction to Mura. So, what is Mura? Multi objective optimization by ratio analysis. So, uh, it is uh, this Mura is also known as the multi criteria or multi attribute optimization process in this mura process uh, simultaneously optimizing two or more attributes or objective uh, subject to the uh, certain constraint and the mura is applied when where the optimal decision need to be taken and uh, mura is also uh, used effectively for ranking and selection of the refri uh, refrigerant for domestic refrigerant and also selection for the alternatives then mura is used to solve the various uh, complex problems and decision making problems uh, and it contains the decision matrix and it represents the performance of measure of alternative with respect to the various objectives and alternative attributes mm, uh, this is the steps involved in mura so step one is the create decision matrix step two normalize decision matrix then step th uh, third is uh, weighted decision matrix. So let's start with the uh, step one. So step one is the create uh, decision matrix. So um, by using four uh, alternatives like uh, represent R134A, R600A, R290 and R32 uh, and six attributes like properties of uh, this represent like condensing pressure, global warming potential, latent heat of vaporization evaporator pressure vapor density and critical temperature using these six attribute uh, we have uh, we had made this uh, matrix and find the weights weights uh, by <coughs> by using the by using these attributes by using these attribute values of decision matrix and uh, divided with uh, respect to the sum of these columns Likewise, uh, we got the uh, weights for all the uh, four uh, alternatives like refrigerant and for all the properties of the refrigerant. Then step two is uh, normalized decision matrix. So uh, normalized decision matrix, uh, this matrix calculated by using and it is also called as Xij. So it is calculated by uh, using formulas like uh, Xij uh, divided by M. Uh, summation of the m in root uh, i is equal to 1 and uh, xij square uh, by using this formula we uh, got this uh, matrix of xij for all the uh, properties of the refrigerant then uh, step third is uh, weighted the uh, decision matrix like uh, this is the uh, wj into xij so uh, from uh, step 2 we we got the xij and from step one we got the wj so from this uh, from to uh, first and second step we got this uh, matrix as a third step like a uh, weighted normalized matrix uh, as wj into xij and this is the uh, final results uh, from the uh, mura medium method like uh, yi is the normalized value for the alternative value against all the attributes by using uh, this formula yi is equals to uh, b minus nb divided by 2 so b is the beneficial attribute 
and uh, nb is the non beneficial attribute so beneficial and non beneficial beneficial means the properties whose uh, higher values are desirable called as positive uh, attributes also and uh, beneficial attribute also then uh, non beneficial uh, attribute means um, uh, whose uh, smaller values are always preferable and it is also called as the negative criteria or non beneficial attribute so according to this uh, mura method represent r600 a is the best followed by uh, r200 uh, 290 a uh, got in previous uh, methods so this is the rank and yi values for the all uh, represent like uh, for the r600 a got the first rank in in this all represents so r600 a is the best represent for the uh, domestic refrigerator so uh, these are the results like uh, result obtained by using this mura uh, medium method is uh, r600 a is the best refrigerant for the domestic refrigerator and this is the conclusion from this uh, medium method like uh, uh, using the various properties of condensing pressure evaporator pressure global warming potential vapor density latent heat of vaporization and critical temperature for this five uh, refrigerant uh, for for this five properties uh, four refrigerant like r134a r600a r290 and r32 listed for the domestic refrigerator application and uh, quantitative data is then analyzed using the medium technique like mura to identify the best option for the selection of the refrigerant and according to these all uh, calculations and results r600 is the best refrigerant suitable for the domestic refrigerator thank you